So this is the Divum D2. When Divum emailed me and asked if we want to take a look at this thing, I was instantly intrigued. Yeah, I'll just show you. Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult to take out since the plastic is getting in the way. Anyway, I'm not sure if the name D2 here is inspired by Star Wars. R2D2, that D2 here. So, let's just take a look inside. Okay, so this is interesting for a package. There's a button. Oh, it's not a button, it's just a push lock. Okay. And there you go. I can't see anything, but you can. Okay, so let's get it out for now. Um, okay, I'll just put this here. This piece of plastic back in the box. And this is the Divum D2. The speaker is actually at the top, as you can see here. So there's a micro SD card slot here, an on off button, and also a USB Type C charger. Thank you for USB Type C because it's really going to be compatible with all of our chargers in the office. So we'll just power it on for now. The next morning. So now it's day two because yesterday when we unboxed the Divum D2, uh, the battery was flat. So we had to charge it overnight and now we are back again. So let's just continue with the unboxing first. So underneath this carton thing that holds the D2 is a bunch of stickers. There are two palettes of them. I'm not sure if it's called palettes. Both of them are in this kind of pixel art, which I think it's amazing because Divum also has an entire catalog of products that are similar to this kind of design language. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, they got a backpack with this kind of pixel art design as well. Uh, another design of the D2, it's something like a CRT TV, they just stand there. That's called the TV. And uh, yeah, they have a lot of products. I'll just leave a link down in the description below if you want to check it out. And also, user manual. We're not going to touch that because... Fun fact, I actually played with it for a while after I charged it to 100%. So, this is the D2. As you can see here, the one that we have is in the light blue color as shown on the box here. It is also available in pink and some other colors, I'm not too sure. Again, I'll just leave all of the information on the screen. And right now, I'll just power it up. That doesn't get old because each time I turn it off and turn it on again, the Divum D2 will show me an entirely different startup boot screen. So it's unique and I really like it a lot. So now I have already downloaded the Divum app on my phone here and I have already paired the D2 to my phone. So I'll open up the app and as you can see here, the interface is... It can be overwhelming at first glance, but it's actually kind of easy to navigate. So let's start off with Discover. So right here, you can see what are the features available on the D2. There are a lot of commonly found features here. For example, you can design your own animation or whatever you want to show on the D2. And then animation, you can actually draw frame by frame on the phone and then you can upload it to the D2. That's amazing. And then there's also a text editor. So text editor is pretty simple. So I, let me just type in a word here, wow or something, hit play. And then you can see the D2 instantly switches to that text that I just typed in. Uh, let me just change it to hello. And oh, it also instantly changes. So you can actually change the entire color scheme that is this text overlay is using. So there's one here called Simpson. Let me just press on it. Uh, rainbows and whatnot. You can even change the cycle time of the text so you can make it super fast and also cause some epilepsy, maybe. And then you can also do some many other more features and even play games on this Divum D2. So as far as I can remember, there's Snake, Tetris and also Race Car. I don't know what that game called but I remember playing it as a kid and I absolutely loved that game a lot. So now you can play it on the D2 as well. One more special feature here is the noise meter. So this Demon D2, despite it being a Bluetooth speaker, it also has a microphone where it can show you what is the noise level that is surrounding this D2. So 
I'm not speaking and you can see the decibel level just drops. And then when I start speaking, it goes up again. Not sure who will use this feature, but it's there if you want it. The second tab on this app here is channel. So, all right, I'll just show you this. Look at this. As you can see here, currently it's showing the time on my phone. It's also doing the same thing. And when I press this button, uh, it's a brightness button, but for some reason it actually cycles through the mode. So this is the second menu in the app, which is the color channel. So you can change this D2 screen to whatever color you want. It's a single color only. So do keep that in mind. And then there's also this thing, the cloud channel, which cycles through uh, gallery themes, but I'm not going to use this because I want to customize. So I'll go on to the next mode here, which is the VJ effects. So this one is kind of just like a screensaver kind of thing. And then going on here, this is something called visualizer. If you're playing music, and remember the Dboom D2 does have a speaker up top here, so it will play music. It's actually quite good too. And then when you go on to the last mode here, it's where you can customize all of your images to be shown on the D2 screen. And I find this to be kind of versatile. It's a 16 by 16 pixel screen and you can add however many images you want here and then it will cycle through whenever the GIF or GIF has played finish. So we'll just leave this menu here because we'll come back later. And at the center of this app here is where you can find all of the GIFs available on, I think it's Divum's some sort of a creator center thing. You can find a lot of different GIFs to put into the D2. For example, if I just wanna use the fireplace, you can just tap on it and then it will immediately change the D2 screen for preview. And then you can also favorite them if you want to. And then at the top of this menu here, you can see there are a few more different tabs. So the first one is the search bar. And if you have any specific GIFs that you want to find, for example, let's just say Mario, because the most famous 8-bit character, I just tap on that. And then you can see Mario has appeared on the screen. This is where you find all of your local uploaded images to the Demon D2, or you can find all of your favorite images and also the GIFs that you have found on the Galleria tab. And then at the bottom there, we move on to the next one, which is called music. So the music is kind of an interesting one. You can play from a list of different online radios. So you just stream them through your phone and then play it on the Dboom D2. And then that's pretty much it. And if you're using the equalizer as well, then it will show you some sort of animation, which you can stare at the D2 and be mesmerized by it. Or you can also play your own music from your phone and then play it on the D2 through the Bluetooth speaker again. And the last mode to play music, remember the D2 actually has a micro SD card. You can fill in the SD card with your MP3 music and then slot it in here and then you can also control all of your music through the app itself. I don't know if anyone actually still stores MP3 files nowadays. And then the last one here is the settings. One interesting feature here is shake shake to adjust the brightness. If I turn it on, what you can see here is when I shake the phone, the brightness goes down and it also goes back up when I shake it again. That's something. So as you can see on my phone here, I have a few images that I have already added to my favorites. Just tap on the image once and then in this preview menu means that it is also previewing in real time. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a 16 by 16 pixel resolution display and it is pretty bright but you have to look at it at a very straight on angle for the maximum brightness. If you're looking at it at a slightly off angle then the image goes a bit dark. I'm not too sure if that's because of the curvature of the screen because it kind of mimics the older day CRT monitor kind of design here and I would say the screen, the colors is very vibrant looks amazing and this is an excellent showpiece to go behind here because you can see it's mostly caps and statues and figurines and whatnot why not add this special thing here right and i have also downloaded a few different images to use with the d2 remember this is everything that is available on the app itself i did not create anything on my own yet so i downloaded r2d2 because the name of this thing, I think it's inspired by Star Wars, like I mentioned yesterday, D2, R2D2. So 
Isabel because Animal Crossing, why not? And then Adventure Times BMO. And then Game Boy, obviously the one that I showed you earlier. And then the question mark block. And then the Raccoon Flying Mario. And there's also Yoshi. The, I specifically chose this Yoshi because the first Yoshi that I found was from the Super Mario World. But um, it's not blinking, it's not moving. So I purposely picked this Yoshi because it's blinking. And then I also found Bowser. And to my surprise, Bowser looks good on the phone, but not on the D2. Maybe it's because of the resolution issue. As you can see, there's just a few pixels moving about. Before we end this video, remember this is still a Bluetooth speaker. As mentioned earlier and also shown a lot of times, there's a speaker up top. And before I forget, there's also a subwoofer port at the back here. So this thing is actually quite capable of kicking some serious bass. I'll just play some online radio here. It's called Dance Wave Retro uh, Cosmonova Alia. I'm just going to boost up the volume a bit. And then I'll change the channel to Visualizer. Let's go with the frog. Why is the frog an equalizer? I don't know. Okay, I'll change to something more conventional. Uh, this kind of Fourier transform graphs as an equalizer. It works. It actually works very well. The way Divoom integrated the app and also the product, they tie in both together and they both just work very seamlessly between each other. It's very responsive and it's very snappy. So once you press something on the phone, the D2 will respond immediately. And one thing I'm just going to show you is this thing actually has mechanical keyboard switches. They're using Otemu Blues. They're very clicky and each of the buttons here will do something, including this lever. It is not for decoration, it is actually for you to play Tetris. Do keep that in mind. And then the M button here is actually to go into mode selection and then you can select between multiple different things that you want to do on the D2. As I mentioned earlier, the first one here is game. So you pull the lever here to select. This is Tetris. Uh, not sure what this is. Not sure what this is as well. Uh, Magic 8 Ball, so you can ask it a question. Mm, it works. No, it doesn't work. Magic 8 Balls don't work. And this one is the brick game thing where it's like Pong but single player. Okay, so you get the idea. You can do quite a lot of things with the Devom D2. And this thing really deserves a spot right about here. It's a beautiful piece of art and I would say, yeah, Devom did a good job in combining art, furniture, prop and nostalgia, I guess. All of those in one. I know it is supposed to be a Bluetooth speaker, but seriously, everyone gonna look at this and say the screen is beautiful, not the speaker. So if you want to get the Devoom D2, I'll leave all of the links at the description below. It is priced at about 469 officially here in Malaysia. I don't know what's the US price. Again, I'll just leave them here alongside with all of the links. So the Devoom D2 is amazing. I really like it a lot. Devoom, good job.